guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Stilla Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. This is just what the tube looks like. Um, I did get this in my October Birch Box and so I'm super excited to do a first impressions. Um, I like doing first impressions just because I know like the first time I use something if I'm gonna like it or not. Like I just know. Like especially with mascara. I know the very first time I use it if I'm going to like it or if I'm going to dislike it. So I'm just going to go ahead and read the benefits right off of the Alta.com website for this mascara. And the benefits are deep black pigments instantly coat every lash for a big bold look. A customized blend of special waxes build volume, length, and curl while remaining soft and flexible. Film formers lock in moisture while lash conditioning polymers provide a glossy finish. Unique brush fibers are permed with texture, multi-length, and deposit product to catch and coat every lash for the most huge extreme lashes ever. And then for the rating, it got a 4.3 rating on the Ulta website. So I'm actually really excited to try this out. I can't wait. Oh, also this retails for $23 on the Alta website, the full size does. So, um, as always, I'm going to go ahead and begin by curling my lashes. Ooh, you can do that. Kind of over curl them as always. And I specifically made sure that I didn't wear any eyeliner so that you could really tell by the actual lashes and not like my liner or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know what I mean. And then I just went for like a very natural eye so that you could see the lashes. Okay, so this is just what the tubing looks like, like that, that's what the wand looks like. So it looks like there's a lot of product on the wand to me. Like it feels like I need to wipe it off maybe, especially the tip. Okay, so that's coat one. It, I can already see my lashes falling from the curl. Like, it's not holding the curl up as of right now, but we'll see. I'm going to go ahead in and do a second coat while it's still kind of wet. Okay, so that's two coats. As I said, you, like, it's already, my, like, curl is, like, it's not holding the curl at all. The curl is, like, already fell, like, quite a bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the opposite eye. And then, like, while this dries, and I don't know, I might add another coat. I don't know. We'll see. Over curling my lashes as always. I 
I don't know, the wand just gets so much product, and I don't like that. and go in with a second coat. I don't know if you can tell, but my lashes had completely and totally fallen on this eye, like completely. And then this eye is starting to fall very fast. So I'm hoping whenever I curl him after the mascara has dried, it's gonna like help him stay. But I don't think it's gonna curl at all. Okay, and so that's kind of a light second coat. I'm going to go ahead and go and do the bottom lashes. I don't know if I'm going to like it for the bottom lashes. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Kleenex and just kind of wipe the brush off a little bit. Because look at how much came off. Like, a ton came off. This brush picks up, like, way too much in my opinion. And now I'm going to go in for the bottom lashes. Okay, so that's the bottom lash, lashes. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm gonna wipe this off again though. It just gets like way too much product. I don't like it for the simple fact that I want a mascara that's going to hold my curl and make my lashes look very curled and, you know, like up and add attention. Um, ignore my, ignore my green tongue. I had a Jolly Rancher earlier. Anyway, I want a lash, I want a mascara that's going to make my lashes stand to attention and, you know, just be up and pretty and not be hanging down just just hanging and chilling so right now i'm not a fan of it I'm not a fan of it at all these are they are dry so i'm gonna go ahead and curl this eye and see what it does Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of this mascara at all. I'm going to bring you guys in closer so that you can see. I don't know, it just, it didn't, no. They like didn't stay like curled. Instead of like wanting to curl, they're like kind of like this. Like they're not actually curled. Like I know it probably looks like it they're curled but they're not they're like I don't know like in person they like I don't know they just look so weird in person and I'm not a fan I feel like they look different in camera though okay so for this particular mascara I'm going to be giving it a thumbs down just because I don't like how it is not keeping my lashes curled at all they're actually like as I'm like talking right now after just curling them a second time, 
they are actually starting to fall even more. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but in person they are definitely falling. And this side just like, this side is completely wonky. Like you can tell, like my lashes are pretty long, but they don't look long at all in the way like they're doing. And I kind of figured that this mascara was going to do that for me just because I don't think it's a waterproof formula. It's probably like water resistant or something like that. And that does not help keep my lashes curled at all. I have to have waterproof to have my lashes curl. And so uh, I kind of figured that this mascara was going to do that for me. So I definitely will not be like wearing this or I'm probably not even ever going to use it again just because I don't like the way that like my lashes are falling and have fell like completely like I don't know if um, you have very curly lashes and you just want like volume um, I think this would be really good for you but if you have straight lashes like me and it you have to have a waterproof formula to keep them curled I wouldn't recommend getting this particular mascara um, and if like I don't know I don't really like this for the bottom lashes just because it just gets way too much product. Like, the wand just gets too much product. Like, there's just so much product on the wand right now. I don't know. I just... I had... I don't know. I was really hoping that this would work. But, like I said, I didn't think it was going to. Just because of the whole waterproof thing and all that. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to give this a thumbs down. I didn't really care for this particular mascara. Let me know what you guys thought and which mascara you guys got in your birch box and if you liked it and how you thought, how you felt about it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't talk. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.